All right, boys and girls, here we go with fourth grade Excel lesson 101. We're going to learn about completing a pattern of shapes and recognizing shapes with common characteristics. That means recognizing shapes in how they're alike. All right, here we go. Read along with me. This set, oh, right there, this set of objects is made up of a repeating pattern of shapes. Draw a line around the initial pattern, the first part of the pattern, the first pattern. Next, draw the missing four shapes. So a line around it means a circle, basically. So here we have square, square, circle, triangle, circle, and then it starts over again. Square, square, circle, triangle, circle. So we draw a line around the pattern right there. Then the next part of the pattern is gonna be the other repeating part. Square, square, circle, triangle, circle. Draw a circle around that. Can you draw a circle around the next part and the next part? And then fill in these four missing shapes. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. So you should have already drawn a circle around this. Square, square, circle, triangle, circle. And then the next part would be a brand new one. Square, square, circle, triangle, circle. Fix your paper if you got it wrong. All right, number one down here. For each problem, draw a line around the basic pattern, just like we did up here. Draw a, a circle around it. Draw the missing figure and then circle the correct choice. So let's take a look here. We've got triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle, square. Oh, I start to see a pattern. Okay, can you continue circling and then pick the right answer? Pause the video. Turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. So you should have circled that, circled that, and then what goes in here? A square, because it goes triangle, circle, square. So you should have picked 22. Okay, pause the video, try number two, and then turn it back on. So you should have circled. We have circle, circle, square, square, triangle, and then it starts over again, circle, circle. So you circle this. And then circle this. There's five shapes. One, two, three, four, five in each pattern, right? One, two, three, four. What's the fifth shape? Should be the same as the fifth shape there, which is a triangle. Did you get it right? Fix your paper if you didn't. All right. The pattern of shading changes in each sequence of the figures. Identify the pattern, then select and draw the best choice for the next figure in the sequence. All right, so you're gonna try to figure out what's happening from this picture to this picture to this picture and then figure out what's gonna go next. And I want you to draw it right in here. Pause the video, try that one out, and then make sure you pick one of these too. Okay, so you should have already done this. And you can see we have the shading in the top left, then it moves to the top right then the bottom right, so it's kind of circling around this way, right? Everything's moving around, which means it's got to continue to move around. So we got to shade in that one on the next one here. So you should have drawn this and then shaded in that piece. Now, which one of those is the same as that? Well, it would be 27. All right, fix your paper if you got it wrong. Now you're going to try this one here. You might want to look at the choices down here to know what you're going to draw there. Go ahead and pause the video. Try that one out. All right, so you should have already done this. We have a diamond with the right side shaded, a football-looking thing with the right side shaded, a square with the right side shaded. So the right side is shaded on all these. The only one down here below that has the right side shaded is number 26. So you circle that. We'll draw a circle there with the right side shaded in. All right, pause the video, do the division problems down at the bottom, and then turn the video on when you've done all the questions, when you've answered them all. Here we go, 12 times two, you should have already done this. Six times eight, three times nine, nine times four, three times seven, five times six, eight times three, six times seven, next row, 10 times nine, four times eight, 
Five times five is 25. Seven times seven is 49. Five times eight is 40. Six times four is 24. Five times nine is 45. And six times six is 36. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.